Welcome once again to Hollow Knight. Uh, last time I made my way to the bottom of the Mantis Village, clashed with the Mantis Lords, became a respected honorary member of their tribe. They're very territorial, but by besting the Lords in combat, I uh, am friendly with them now, and then went to Deep Nest. Deep Nest is hell. Uh, there is more that I want to do there. Unfortunately, I'm forgetting exactly... Okay, I think this loops around uh, back to the Queen Station if I go up. So let's find out. Let's follow the path and see if I'm correct. I've totally forgotten because I do want to at least sit at a bench. Uh, I need to have a compass equipped if I'm going to traverse deep nest yeah this is this is where uh cornifer was making his map i know where i'm at now uh but the problem with deep nest is god that place is hard to navigate i mean the only reason i was able to sort of get out of it was keep going up it's called deep nest for a reason it, it, it's a absurdly deep part of hollow nest not the deepest part of hollow nest but um it's nice to see that you know, there's a there's an unlockable part of Deep Nest once you once you get through to the other side. Um, that sort of helps out with um, backtracking. So once you get back to uh, the Queen Station, sort of get your bearings back. Uh, for the love of God, let's. Uh, Shaman stone, I love, but I don't have enough room for it. Or do I? Hang on a second. Uh, I don't have enough room. If only. If only. It, it looks like it wants to stick. Something's happening. This blew my fucking mind when I first did it. I was like, what? You can go over limit and over charm yourself. Yes, you can. The problem is you're going to be taking double damage. So, if you don't, if you have gotten good, that's a way to squeeze another several um, several notches worth of space out of it. Because you could do something, you know, like grub song into shaman stone. There, I've got two extra notches. Do I have one that's four notches? I don't think I do. Not right now. Um, so you see, there's lots of potential uh, for skilled players to get just that much more out of this game. Grub Song is a really good passive option. Uh, you gain soul when you take damage. So when you're traversing areas like Deep Nest and uh, you are going to be taking damage left and right just from how hardy the enemies are, may not be a terrible idea. Uh, and in fact, I do have a spore shroom, so let's let's use that. I don't... When focusing soul, emit a spore cloud that slowly damages an enemy. So, when you focus, which means when you heal, you're going to emit a spore cloud. Cool, I guess. Not that big of a deal, but uh, I guess I'll equip it just because it's an extra notch. Um... And I don't have anything else that I recall that only costs one notch. So yeah. Um, do I want to go back to Salubra? Do I want to potentially buy it? You know what? Let's, let's go back to Dirtmouth. I've got a lot of Geo. The last thing that I want to do, because I'm... Almost assuredly, I, I know I've said this the last couple episodes, um, I really do think Deep Nest is where I have my first death. I haven't died yet, so I'm still technically on a Steel Soul mode. Um, I think that's going to come to an end sometime soon. So let's go to Dirt Mouth and just buy everything I can. <sighs> oh, Bafanada. Uh, oh, she's got more token, uh, some more markers. She got token marker, gleaming marker. Um, so if you want to do a little bit more color coding with your, uh, your maps and where you mark stuff, potentially things that you might need a double jump for, or things that you see 
oh, this has one of those shadow barriers. Um, or this looks like I could go on further, but I can't swim in acid. Uh, I'm content where I'm at with where I have uh, my markers. Um, I'll buy a cocoon pin now. And I'll buy a uh, hot spring pin because there is, like I said before, a, a while ago, an important hot spring in Deep Nest that is uh, that I'd like to have on my map. Although there's a bench there too, I'm pretty sure. So most hot springs have benches. So you wonder what what exactly is the point? Um, you have to wonder. So, stalwart shell. I guess it's 200. It's... I could buy another simple key. I could. Uh, that would put me at... 125, or no, not 125. 145 geo. Or, I could buy a mask shard and a vessel fragment. I already have a key. I know where it's going. So let's just try and boost my uh, boost my stuff. I have gotten no vessel fragments so far. So Pass it's a good idea deal. to... He only sells one, though, for now. I found another one of these. If you look closely, there's some nice engraving work on them. I suspect I undercharged last time, and this is the only one left. It's going to cost you. Let's get another mask shard. Build my next quartet of them. Uh, so all he has left is a simple key and a rancid egg. For now. Uh, Sly has an expanded inventory. But um, it does require getting something. Uh, something where I'm not going at present, so... So, yeah, I've been to Deep Nest. I don't... No, there's no reason for me to go to Salubra because I have no cash right now. So, let's wheel back around to the Queen Station. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And continue the exploration of Deep Nest. Uh, I kind of want to make this a little bit different than I have my last several... Uh, playthroughs of this game. I still haven't beaten the game itself. Something to keep in mind. But, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the city storerooms in the City of Tears and see if there's a door that I can open that leads back to Fungal Waste. Because I feel like there is. It's that big heavy door near the entrance to Mantis Village. Well, not that near it, but, uh, Let's, uh, let's take a look at this and see if I can find a way out. Because I think this leads out. I think there's going to be a lever. Or not. Never mind. It's a toll. I don't have enough geo. This leads back to Forgotten Crossroads. Can you open up that door? That big heavy door doesn't do anything. Because I've seen those doors before, and I know of at least one that you can open up. But, I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering. So there's the elevator. Okay. Leads back to Forgotten Crossroads. Which is useful. Um, but I don't have enough Geo. Story of my fucking life. So, let's go back to Deep Nest. I've got really nowhere else to go, right? Well, besides the mines, but let's just pretend the mines don't exist right now. Let's pretend, shall we? <sighs> Alright, so sit down, update the map. The Queen's Station. I'd like to be able to open up the Queen's Gardens before the big thing in the, in the uh, game happens. Which means I'm going to have to fuck around in one of two places. And really, there's only one option. And it involves being able to swim in acid. Which means 
I need to use that key on that sewer grate in the City of Tears sometime sooner than later. Um, that might be where I go after Deep Nest. But I'm trying to put my mind in, in the head of the developers and what they intend for their order of the game to be because things like the lantern I don't think you can really be assumed to have those this early I say this early the game's already like a third over maybe even more um, but I don't think you're expected to be quote unquote good enough to have bought those with Geo already although in saying that that's a pretty asinine statement to make because it's not that hard to at least, when you do die, go back, kill your shade, get the stuff. Now. Alright, let's lead that away. Ah! I can inspect it, and the reason I can inspect it is because I have the Spore Shroom. This is entirely new to me. I'm not aware of what this is. Well, I know what it is, but I've never done this in my main file. This border bounds the twisting, scratching things. Their dead sire, once of honored caste. Their sealed mother, but the common beast. No peace with them we make. So these are um, mushroom lore stones. You need the spore shroom to really be able to understand what it is that's going on but that's interesting this border bounds the twisting scratching things so deep nest twisting scratching those really unsettling sound effects their dead sire once of honored cast so a dead king interesting their sealed mother but the common beast so the queen of Whatever the tribe in Deep Nest is, was a queen, was a, a, a beast. No peace with them we make. So, seems the shrooms have an axe to grind with the things of Deep Nest. In fact, that seems to be the uh, common theme with a lot of Hallow Nest, because you gotta think, the Mantis tribe had Deep Nest sealed off and only allowed you to go through if you demonstrated sufficient skill in uh, tangling with them. So, that's an interesting lore stone. I want to make sure uh, that's really close. Hmm. 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 Maybe I need to focus and, and emit fumes. I don't know. I don't really know for sure, but um, I do know that that stump of shrooms only did something in response to the spore shroom charm so i guess for lore keep it on <laughs> so these uh these moss can don't seem they seem to have let themselves go a little bit but um they don't seem illuminated like this guy. Light is life, beaming pure brilliant, to stifle that light is to suppress. Mm. Mm. Very suspicious. Um, again, seems to have uh, come into contact with that golden, for lack of a better word, radiance that... Uh, is all over this land. When an enemy explodes, they, they turn into that glowy pus. Very disturbing. <laughs> okay, I at least have the compass on now. So, until I start flying blind and need a bench, um, I at least know where the fuck I am. And there's a bench over there good to know so ah don't 
rush. And these stupid idiots rush. Oh god. Don't be a stupid idiot. Alright, so I need to keep in mind that I don't have the Shaman Stone anymore. So I may not necessarily be able to kill these things in one desolate dive, but fuck. You know what? Let's make my way back around. Let's do that, shall we? Let's kill these assholes. Beep. Okay. Take a look at where I'm at. Now I can actually go to the left, I think. Indeed I can. And there's a bench over there. Oh, wait. Right. This is blocked off. No such luck. It's not that easy. So, I guess I have to venture deeper into the deep nest. See how it all comes together? God. I hate making blind jumps into potentially dangerous pits. Oh, wait a second. Huh. I'm breaking apart. Whoa! 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 It's me! That looks like me! Did I miss out on something? Hmm. Very curious. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, uh, thing that looks like me. Looks like the knight. Is it still there? where it was, right? No, maybe it's run off. That's very curious. Oh, now I'm just totally going the wrong direction. These passages are so labyrinthine. And there you see me emit a fart when I heal. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling into a hot spring. I mentioned this a while ago. This is an important hot spring. Very, very important indeed. Because uh, it leads towards one of those tramways, but I don't, I don't have a ticket. I can't, I can't enter the tramway. What does it mean? Uh, well, I do know that I am so far off the beaten path now. Trying to figure out where the fuck I'm at might be an exercise in futility. Oh god, there are nooks, crannies, twists, and turns everywhere. It's at least a little bit brighter thanks to those bioluminescent mushrooms, but, um... Whoa! The corpse of a garpede. Now, for invincible enemies in this game, those uh, garpedes up above, some of those uh, burrowing worms in uh, forgotten cross crossroads, you can find a dead enemy and add it to your bestiary. That's the only way to add it, is if you find the dead one. Because you can't kill them, they're way too fucking big. Um... Just keep whoa whoa all right all right hang on hang on i have a map now i can use this map very curious indeed uh i'm gonna have blue represent shadow doors so if i come across a shade door uh or shade wall to uh put blue to represent that i do need to go back and visit some of my red marks that i have It seems that there's nothing else down here. Whatever I need, uh, the ability to pass through those or turn those off or whatever, I know what it is. But, uh, oh shit, oh shit, yeah, that sucked. That could have been better thought out. So, uh, like I said before, there's two directions I can go. This really just leads to a tramway and 
I'm not sure why I'm going this way because the tramway is there, there's nothing there for me. I don't have a ticket, so I can't go it. Let's go back to uh, Hot Springs at least. Sort of get a another handle on where the fuck I'm at, how I can potentially get the hell out. Hot Spring here is very good though. Uh, because Deep Nest does not mess around. Wait for it. Okay. It's fine. Now, certain types of those beetles that... Oh, fuck. It's the, it looks the same as when you were in um, the Forgotten Crossroads. These are not the same beetles. Or are they? Huh. Maybe they are. They're not all the same, though. In fact, it's totally random as to whether they're the same or not. Alright. Uh, uh, it's moving! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's... That's freaky as hell, ain't it? And now more are doing it. Oh, oh, oh. You took a tick of damage. And they can go up walls, too. Up walls, up ceilings. Oh, of course. Where the fuck are you? Die. Holy shit. Ugh. Willies. This place is meant to be unsettling. It's These enemies aren't nearly as wholesome and innocent as the stuff from the fungal waste. You know, those little elephant balloon thingies. Uh, there is a, a much uglier and darker side of the insect kingdom. And uh, I think I've come to it. I really need to make my way back up. I... I think I'm, I'm going entirely the wrong fucking direction. Oh god. Here we are. Spiders in the foreground. Oh Jesus. Oh god. What the hell are you? <gasps> oh god. Yeah, they do two units of damage. They are hardy motherfuckers. Oh my god, Jesus, yeah, I'm gonna die here. I'm totally fucking gonna die here. Um, not having the Shaman Stone. God, oh shit. Well, now all I need to do is take one, one more point of damage from those assholes and uh, goodbye. Goodbye to me. Uh-oh, still moving. All right, take those little ticks of damage. Shit. Yeah, I really should not have wasted that, but whatever. <laughs> Came up and surprised me, what can I say? Um, this place is not friendly. This place is not good. Uh, I do not have what I need to effectively fight those masked, chunky spiders. Damn it. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, well, whatever. Again, those things do two uh, masks of damage. And, uh... God, they take a beating. Ugh. Build up soul. Alright. That's one dead. There's like five or six of them in these halls. And some of them get to pretty, uh... Pretty oppressive corners that they can drag you into.
so disturbing. You you are in an alien hell. You do not need to be here. And yet here I am in alien hell. And now I've got spiders coming from the foreground that are taking three points of damage. Or that are that take three oh, not you again. Jesus, get out. Okay. <sighs> Build up soul. Why am I here? This is gonna take an age. My nail is not strong enough for this shit and I don't have the shaman stone equipped. Build up just a little bit more soul. Come back. Ah, fuck's sake! This is why it helps to have Grub Song. When you take a, a hit, um, builds that soul back up a bit. Okay, or I could do that. At least it's dead. God. When those enemies pop their fucking face open and you see their mandibles, it's actually a mask, but, um... Creepy. All of that for just some Geo? Oh, God. I'm in for a very, very poor time. I should not be here yet. I really should not. I think you're supposed to have the double jump when you come to this stretch. Um, maybe the wall jump is enough? No, no, I think I need the double jump. Alright, well, fair enough. Well, hang on, hang on. We've got nooks and crannies and all that happy horse shit. Um, let's heal. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Well, I guess the, uh, the spore shroom can kill them a little bit. I guess I can keep going, that's fine. These weaver spider thingies. Not good. Now I'm, now I'm healing so frequently, I'm sure my first death is just a stone's throw away. Those mask fuckers are the worst, and I think there's another one in here. I may be wrong, but most of these little sections have those assholes. Oh god. Oh god! Ugh, spike! Exactly. I mentioned this before. The spike drops. Not friendly. Not at all. God, deep nest. I'm going so damn slow now. Wait. Okay. Oh. Secret passage. Alright. This is where I fought uh, face mask. <laughs> uh, let's go back. I don't want to... If I can help it, I wouldn't like to backtrack too much. Keep moving forward. I should not be here. This is a very late game area with late game enemies. Not terribly late, but god, these things are just such a bitch. two masks of damage. I have five masks left, so right now things are okay. I hit it with three attacks, so. Alright. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Make it slow. Take it slow. Oh. It's kind of hard to take it slow when you're doing some Raiders of the Lost Ark pitfall shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. You never know when it's going to stop. You never, ever, ever know if it's going to stop. Alright, we've got another one of those tree thingies. Again, with time, those will become more apparent what they are. But I'm getting close to a stagway, which is the only reason why I'm continuing. If you can get the stagway in Deep Nest... Uh-oh. Aww. Oh. If only I could get him. 
I'm coming, grubby. Oh god, I think I've got another one of those ass uh, These things are nowhere near as bad as the fully grown bulbous ones. Ugh. Oh, that was the worst trade of all. Use soul to attack and take a hit. Slimy, reptilian motherfuckers. Disgusting. Okay, cool. It's a very hit and run tactic with these things. Um, seems to be helping though. Oh, very strange. What is this? The Weaver's Den. What does that mean? Weaver's Den. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Very strange. Uh oh. Oh, you that that's not fair. That platform is so small that trying to hit you would be a nightmare. God damn it. F I knew that would happen. I knew it. Fuck. Die. That was a sacrifice that I should not have made. Oh, God. <gasps> okay. All of that for more of those fucking rancid eggs. Uh, bad trade. As Johnny Depp would say in uh, Lone Ranger. Very bad trade. The Weaver's Den, huh? What are the Weavers? Let me heal. For God's sake, let me heal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. I should not be here yet. You know how I know? Because there's a very easy way to get across here that I don't have yet. Oh, God. Come on. I can't pogo across those right now. Not with that asshole there. All right. I guess let's take this the super slow way. Apologies. All right. I think that's... This is going to be some narrow pogoing, but it's worth one, maybe two shots. All right. Not that bad. Weaver's Song. Interesting. So I got a, I got a charm out of it. The Weaver's Den, huh? What are they? Ah! Was that a weaver? It rolled away. <sighs> this place. This fucking place. But, um, oh god. Keep an eye out for more spiders that are gonna bum rush you. There, That's not a big deal. The big deal is the large ones. And fortunately, I seem to be doing okay at dealing with those right this second, although there's probably another one ahead. Oh, well, no. There is eventually. Alright. Hang on, hang on. I'm coming. All right, wall jump up. See what's next. Do not get ambushed. You do not want to get taken from both sides by these assholes. Take it super, super slow. Okay. So we've got this insignia of the spider very curious and uh at least i'm at full health so i can keep going uh, oh 
Oh god! Wow, that was uh, poor, poor wall jumping. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Jeez! Fuck! Um, I'm making it. You know, do not panic in this game. Do not panic, because it it leads to some real stupidity. Okay. Spiders do their thing. Take it so slow. Do not rush. Oh god. That's rushing. Oh, that's such a dick move. I think that's the end, too. Alright, I think I've made it to the distant village. I have. Alright. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Um... This inky dark water. Uh, it's amazing that any light reaches here at all, but I do have my Lumafly lantern. Um, I guess I make my way back up. I really did not mean to do that, but uh, since I'm here, may as well, right? As if there wasn't enough nightmare fuel to be found in this game to begin with. Let's go in here and meet a certain someone. Friendly, right? Right? Limarma, oh, you feel like... please, please don't be shy. There are some nasties around, about here, all right. Not me. I'm a friend to all and happy to serve a traveler so bold as you. The midwife, huh? Is it information you seek? That I can provide. Yes. Oh, yes. Hey. <laughs> that village above here. Home to a sad creature. Hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly. Though I suspect she bore no regret in making it. So a tragic exchange. Hers, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, I know, I know. You're intrigued. You want to know the tale. Well, I'm sorry. I'd love to tell it, but I'm just very... Or I'm just... I'm very, very sorry. And haven't eaten in some time. And I'm, uh, oh, I'm starving. <laughs> and of course, like everything else here that has that fucking mask, it pops open. She will try to attack you. She will damage you. But you can't damage her in retribution for the fucking nightmare fuel. There is more for her to say, but she she's obviously hungry, and she looks at the night like a pleasant little morsel snack. Uh, I don't intend to be her snack, but the midwife does have more to say. Please leave the oh, it returns! Me. I do apologize about before. <laughs> no matter, no matter. My, my appetite oft gets the better of me. For now, at least, I'm content. Would you hear about myself? There's not much. To, there's not so much to say. I'm a servant to the nest, though few in recent times would seek my service. Our brood is lost to that pestilence of the mind, a sad fall for the most intelligent species. Ah, but, hmm, I've eaten, yes. And full. Then again, another little morsel would make me oh so happy. The perfect end to a meal. <laughs> Jesus. The noise. The noise. She's got more to say, I think. Is she going to talk about the gendered child? <laughs> my dear, aren't you so kind checking again on my well-being? I'm ever the caring host. I can't understand why more don't visit in your manner. Maybe because you try and eat them, and judging from the corpses around me, you probably have eaten them. 
Now, you don't, you won't mind while I take just a little bite. Just a leg, perhaps. A full belly is the best path to happiness. Okay, so she doesn't have anything more to say right now. Um, I'm gonna leave her be. She'll have more to say later, but I do not intend to trigger that right now. The, uh, the distant village, it is very important that I get back up there. Oh god, not another- oh gee, this is exactly what I was talking about. Getting taken from both sides by these fucking spiders. Um... I, didn't, I don't think I heard it there, did I? Just be patient. Let them open up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doing that is a very, very poor idea. Don't do that. Please don't do that. It's still not enough, huh? Damn. These things are hardy as hell. Everything here is, but these are some of the most dangerous enemies in this game. God, not having a double jump here sucks the fucking root. Although I do have... Come on down. You're the next contestant and the price is dead, bitch. Come on. There you go. That didn't... Ugh. It didn't kill. That's fine. Shit. 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 How did you get there? That's fine. He gave me a nice refill. I'll take it. it. Shouldn't be too much longer to get up and open up the shit. Go, go, go. Okay. I didn't wheel all the way back around. There is another. There are more boards that I can get to sort of open this area up more. I really don't want to continue to stay here for very long. Um, once I get to the Stagway in the distant village, uh, I think that's got to be it for my time in Deep Nest. There is more to explore here. And part of me really wants to explore it, but this is dangerous, and I do not want my first death to be in Deep Nest. Be shit. Um, I do not want my first death to be in Deep Nest because that's... Uh, begging for trouble. But I can do that. That's a good way to kill them. Oh, God. Th okay, or you can kill yourself. That works, too. Uh, thank you, you dumb fuck spider. Holy shit. Alright. Was this... Ah, this was another board. So let's open it up even more. So if I want to backtrack from the midwife now, uh, it's even easier. Cool. Cool. Good stuff. Deep nest. <sighs> All right. Distant village. Again, this time, it's not fall. I can go in here. What is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Seems a lot of uh, previous adventurers have been turned into spider food. Something to keep in mind, I think. Oh, I hate this place. All right. Exploring it without a double jump is uh, not advisable, but that's okay. Y you notice there, the elevator doesn't even work anymore. So maybe once upon a time, this place was more of a brimming metropolis that had some technology to speak for. Not anymore. Welcome to hell. Fortunately, I have Geo. I have 250 Geo. Come to me, my stag friend. I need to get the fuck out of here. Um. So. Ah, oh, little one. Where are we? I've never been to this station. It has a strange air of danger to it. Let me take you somewhere safer, quickly. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop upon the platform, give me the signal, and soon we'll be on our way. Alright, distant village, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me. That creepy ass midwife, those fat ass spiders. Part of me wants to stop. 
part of me really, 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 really wants to stop. But there's another part of me that's being a fucking fool right now and thinks that I've got more to do in Deep Nest. So I'm not actually going to leave. Uh, I've got more exploring to do. I've gotten to the Stagway. So assuming I can ever get out of Deep Nest. Remember, I think the last bench that I sat at was at the Hot Springs. And let's take a look at where the fuck I am as opposed to that. Uh... Where am I? Where indeed? Deep Nest is so massive that it almost requires another round through. It's one of the, the just... It's not the sheer size, because there's a lot of big areas. But the problem is they're big open areas. Deep Nest is a sprawling labyrinth of herdy stuff that gives you a horrible fucking time. So, I think I'm done for now. I will be right back with the next episode of Hollow Knight. I hope you're all enjoying. Uh, my first death is just one mistake away. I still have not died yet, and I'm carrying... Well, I'm only carrying 619 Geo. That's, there are worse amounts of Geo to lose, but assuming I can ever get out of Deep Nest, I now have a way to, to uh, progress. Actually... Do I want to backtrack? Because if I don't want to backtrack, I could just as easily go to another stagway, sit at a bench. Nah, that's for smart people. So I'm going to continue next time.